Hello everyone, welcome back to our 30 day challenge of learning Tableau from scratch. It's day 10 today. And let us take a quick recap of what we have discussed in our day nine. And in our previous video, we have talked in detail about a filter shelf. We have observed what are the different options we get. And we have seen what are the different types of filters we can apply, how they affect the dashboard and all. So I'll be pasting the link of the video please do watch it out and in today's video we are going to you know continue our journey of learning something new today and if you're new to my channel don't forget to like share and subscribe and do not forget to give me a comment so that it reaches wider audience so page shelf is today's topic it you know divides your data into in this or splits your data so that you easily understand or read the data so a very generic example is suppose if you are reading a book and if i ask you like you know what is that uh, you are reading or you know like that so if you, you will tell that i'm reading something on page one or page two or something like that right so that is where page concept is coming in so you are focusing on if you have like say you know very huge data points and you want to focus on one part at a time then you can use this page shelf concept now let us see a simple example for that now what i'm doing is i'm trying to build a view using region wise sales okay and just for the sake of building i'm also adding a category to my view Okay, now this is how my view is. So after adding the view, few things we need to do, make it entire view and sort it because that's our priority. And uh, then what I'm doing is I'm taking my region here. Okay, and I'm dropping it on filter shelf. Sorry, page shelf. Now see here in a single instance, it is giving us information about only one region at a time. So, and you see it created a legend called as page legend here. Okay. Now either I can scroll it right to see the next region coming in or I can click on this play button. If I click on this play button automatically, this will happen. You can adjust your speeds from here. It is, it will be very slow. or you want very fast you can do that as well okay if at all you want to show history and all all of these options you have that you can definitely try to use and leverage but only at the desktop level okay this is something that is very important but if you observe here this makes your titles also dynamic here uh, you can also click on this and you can go to any specific region you want or observe this sheet here now currently it is showing for east it is highlighting east okay the same likewise i have applied it to our workbook that we were working see here region filter i have applied and region is not in my view now when i play this play button automatically it is trying to show according to each region but currently it is i want to stop it when whenever it is working we it is little tough to understand what it is trying to show i'm so i'm just trying to make my titles dynamic here i'm clicking on this and i'll just write hyphen i'll just try to use insert and maybe re region i'll try to use here okay so let us see how this will work so currently it is all but if I click on play button now, observe. Okay, so it is a static, but I want my titles to be dynamic. So it's not working here. So using other options like parameter and all, we can make our titles dynamic, but here, we are not using that concept, but we are trying to use page name here. Apply, okay. Now see here, automatically it is updating our titles according to what it is trying to show here. 
so that way you can make your titles dynamic as well now i want to save the work that i have done so far so that you know you know it does not miss anywhere so tableau allows us to share save the work in two ways okay so a new word is coming in that is what dot twb and dot twbx so twb is tableau workbook and twbx is tableau packaged workbook or packaged tableau work book okay so let us see how we can do that i'm just going here i want to save this work that i've done click on this file and click on save okay or click on save as and you will see the option here tableau workbook and if you click on this you'll also see here tableau package to workbook okay two different options now what is this difference tableau workbook means it will only scale, save the skeleton of the workbook skeleton means only formulas or whatever are there only that will be saved only when you connect to the data source that is when all the charts will be passed suppose i am saving the work as dot twb and i am sharing it with you but you do not have the data source then it is of no use for you because it will not populate any data unless you connect it to that particular file or particular data source so that is one thing but whereas tableau packaged workbook means it will save the data underlying data along with that example i just will see that so i'm just uh, saving in our 30 day challenge workbook and i'm clicking on save okay we saved it here again i'm going back clicking on save as but this time i'm clicking on this and i'm just writing or renaming the workbook as packaged workbook now if i go to that particular folder we will see how different they are now observe here these two are the workbooks that we have created right these two are the workbooks so for packaged workbook there will be a symbol like this and this is your normal workbook okay so observe the size here this is 1 mb and this is something in kbs this itself show you shows you the difference that you know the size of this is more so you can right click on this and uh, you can click on so you can always click on show more option and you can click on unpackage to unzip this so simply like you know zipping or unzipping i'm just trying to unpackage this so it will create a folder under which we will have all the details about this workbook let us see if it has created okay so it 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 might take some time yeah now see here we got this new folder 30 day challenge packaged workbook okay so the, uh, when i unzip that if i go inside that you will see data folder which means the data underlying data is also copied and is getting saved along with the workbook so if you are sharing sharing this workbook to someone but you are saving it as a packaged workbook then he can also see the dashboard okay so that is the difference between twb and dot twbx very important uh, point to remember when you are working Uh, in your real times okay so if it is in your personal machine tableau will automatically recognize what is the data source that you have been using but if you are sending it to someone then uh, it it is tough to understand because tableau will not locate the data source so in that case you might go with uh, tab twbx format so it is it will be easy for them to see what you have done and review the work okay so with that said you know i'm ending ending my today's video i hope it was uh, you know helpful to you if it does don't forget to like share and subscribe see you in the next video till then bye bye and have a good day